Okie dokie then. We're going to look at some more cool transitions, and the first one I'm going to show you is the whip pan transition. Now this one is all about choosing where to cut. It's always good to get, it's always good to cut right at the fastest point in the whip pan motion at the end of the first clip and at the start of the second clip because the, because then the speed of the motion will match more or less and it will look more seamless. Now one way to smoothen out a little bit is to put a cheeky film dissolve and to just make it to a couple of frames and that will smoothen it out nicely. Now the second type of transition is the tilt up sky to sky transition where you simply tilt your camera up to the sky at the end of your first clip and then you start up at the sky in your second clip and tilt down to whatever you're trying to film. Now the best time to do this is when is when there is a is when there is a gorgeous clear blue sky. Unfortunately, what with the unpredictable British weather, I couldn't get that done. Our third transition is the masked transition. We've touched on this already, but I'm going to go into it a little bit more again because I think it is a very good transition style. You do this by going into your opacity settings in your first clip. You find somewhere where something goes across your screen or when something is revealed from behind and you use the square or you use the pen tool and you simply draw around that point. Then as your pillar or whatever you're choosing to use as your transition point moves more across the frame, you simply move your opacity mask to just keep in line with it and keep doing that until until whatever it is you're using has completely gone from one side of the screen to the other. And also make sure you invert uh, your mask so it is the second clip that is being revealed. Alright, our fourth transition is the frame transition. This is where we take something within within our within our footage, say a framed photo. We use the square the square mask in opacity to cut out the picture, and we put our second clip underneath it. And as the camera zooms in on that frame, we then scale up the mask and the second clip to match it until the frame is is completely gone. And then we go straight into the second bit of footage. And our fifth and final transition is the sword cut. Again, this is also using the opacity, uh, using the pen tool or the square mask tool to create a mask in opacity. And as the sword cuts across the screen, so we keep one point of the mask on the tip of the sword, which is meant to be slicing through the clip. And as that goes along, we keep that one point on the tip of the sword, and and as that and as that continues across the screen, it then looks like the sword is cutting through the frame. And here we are again at the end of the video. I hope these have been useful to you in any way, shape, or form. Do let us know if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Auf Wiedersehen.